In this video, we'll be showing you how to add new pages to a Scalar book using the Content tab in your dashboard or the Editor's toolbar within the book itself. We'll also learn how to select or change the page layout and specify what Scalar calls a key image for a page header or for the main splash page of your book. So quick orientation to where I am right now. I'm here on the back end of Scalar. Um, this should be roughly what you see when you sign into Scalar. Um, from here, we need to get to the dashboard for a specific book. So today we're gonna to be using this Witchful Thinking book right here. Um, and if you hover over the book title, um, you should see a dashboard button. And that's what we're gonna to hit to get into the dashboard for that book. We did cover creating books um, in the dashboard videos that hopefully everybody had a chance to watch before the workshop. Um, but if you need any help creating your book, um, we can spend a little bit of time on that in the breakouts if we need to in just a little bit. So here I am in the dashboard for my book. And um, there are a couple of different ways to add pages in Scalar, which is the first thing we'll be doing. One of them is from the content tab in the dashboard. So here I am in the content tab and I'm gonna just go down to the bottom and hit this add new page button, which is right at the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna give my, my page a title. History of Witches, you'll forgive all the Halloween puns um, and um, Halloween theme, I think it's kind of fun. And we need some text here. And since I'm just designing this book and um, I don't have any uh, narrative text prepared, I'm gonna use uh, dummy text. Um, so I'm gonna use Gothic Ips Ipsum just to stay on theme. It's a random text generator. There are a lot of different Ipsums, a lot of these different random text generators, um, and you can find them just by Googling. Um, they're on many different themes. You have like, hipster Ipsum, and you have a lot of different Ipsums. Um, so feel free to choose whichever one matches the theme of your own book. So I can set how many sentences I want per paragraph, and I can also set how many paragraphs I would like. So I'm gonna do three paragraphs, ask it to generate those paragraphs. And you can see it's just gobbledygook text. It's not um, meaningful, but it gives me some text to use on my page in Scalar. There we go. So I just copied that over. And now I can save and view my new page. So here's my page. And this is what it would look like on the front end. Now that I'm on the front end, I can show you the second way to make a page, which is to hit this plus sign if you're on the front end of the book. This bar up here will only show up if you're signed in to Scalar, so um, the public won't be able to see this. But you'll see that this takes me to the same page where I just was. Um, it's the exact same process to create a page. Scalar just gives you two different options, one from the dashboard and one from here, just for convenience. So this time we'll make a page, Zombies and Mummies. And I'll give it a description. Um, the description is 100% optional. You don't need to give it a description if you don't want to. Um, it does not show up on the front end. It does show up on the back end of Scalar. So it can be helpful organizationally. And then I'll go back over and maybe I'll do two paragraphs this time. Just for fun new text, copy that, and go back over to my book. <clears throat> so you'll see some different layout options down here, and I'm gonna talk um, through these different options with you. Basic um, is the page layout that is probably the most commonly used. It's the one that I use the most often when I'm working in Scalar. And this little image gives you an idea of what that layout looks like. So you have some media objects, maybe images, and some text. Um, you can also just have text, that's also basic. Um, and then if you click on this menu here, you have several um, different options for layouts that appear. I would focus mostly on these first few options. Um, the splash pages are essentially a big image and then you have a title um, on top of that big image. So a splash, um, I use Splash for chapters. And then the only difference between Book Splash and Splash is that the Book Splash is gonna automatically use the title of your book. So that's meant to be kind of the cover of your book. Um, and then Image Header um, is just gonna put a big image at the top um, of your page. So let, let me use Image Header and show you what that looks like. 
Some of these different options um, do require what's called a key image. So you have to tell it which image you want to put at the top here, which means you have to have some media in your book. Um, you should not yet have a ton of media in your book. Um, we'll cover that in the next module, so don't worry too much about that. Um, image header, splash, and book splash are all going to require you to kind of point to an image that you want it to use. So I'm going to do image header, and then I'm going to go under styling and select a key image. And again, this drop down is going to populate based on what you have in your book, the media that you have in your book. So I'm going to choose graveyard for this, just to show you what it looks like. Save and view. And now you can see that I have a page and it has a big image at the top. So that's how it's going to display. Okay. Um, so now let's look at these two pages that we've created by going into the dashboard again and into content. Content is again, um, the place in the dashboard where you're gonna have all of your content. So I've selected pages here, which is what it defaults to. So I should see a full list of all of the pages in my book. We created a lot of these pages just to have um, on the back end so that we could demo things for you today. So um, you probably will not have very many pages in your book, if any. Um, but you can see that I have, let's see, zombies and mummies, for example, is right here. You'll notice that these are in alphabetical order, um, but you can also search your pages over here in this search box. 